Health and Human Services Secretary Alex Azar just briefed reporters on his department's latest actions regarding separated migrant families. NBC News national security and justice reporter Julia Ainsley was on that call. Joining me now, Julia, what's the latest? So, Andrew, I think a big takeaway here is that there are nearly 3,000 children that HHS is working to reunite. We previously thought they just had a little over 2,000 in their custody. The reason that number is bigger, HHS says, is because the court order is requiring them to look back even before Trump started that zero tolerance policy. So these are children who were separated perhaps before May 6th when that went into effect. They also think that some of these children might have been separated on their journey, maybe by smugglers, and they don't understand that they weren't actually separated separated by the U.S. government. So they say the number could come down, but they have these very strict court deadlines they need to comply with. By July 10th, that's just next week, they'll need to reunite about 100 children who are under the age of five who were separated, and then the rest of the children between the ages of five and 17 will have to be reunited by July 26. Um, another thing they said, Andrea, which really underlines our reporting from yesterday, is that the only children who have been reunited so far are those who were reunited to be deported with their families. Going forward, they'll be able to keep them together, but so far it's only been for deportation.